Next one, I'm going to modify line numbers configuration option that is basically responsible for showing up those numbers next to every line. I'm not going to disable them completely, but instead I will use relative representation, which is basically going to show the actual line number next to the current line, the line where the cursor is currently positioned. And all surrounding lines will have numbers that denote how far the particular line is located from the current line. It is very useful if using Vim because Vim allows us to quickly jump to a certain line by simply using a few keystrokes. We'll just have to press the button which specifies direction in which we'll have to move top or bottom, followed by the line number to which we'd like to navigate to, and right away we're jumped to that particular line. And that is the main reason why I use relative line number representation. But in case you prefer to hide those numbers completely, you can use value of for this option and those line numbers will be hidden. Next I will specify how many spaces will be used for indentation. I will use two. And from now on, if I'm gonna press tap, the line will be shifted by two spaces to the right. One of the features of VS Code is to automatically detect the size of the indentation inside the particular file based on the indentation level that is already used within that file. And then if we'll add additional tabs, the tab size as well as tab style will be dependent on the one that is already used within particular file. I actually don't want VS Code to automatically detect indentation type, that is why I'm adding detect indentation option with the value of false. So this way, no matter which file will open and what indentation level or indentation style will be used in that file, I'm always going to use two spaces for indentation. The next option is called show folding controls, and those are little arrows that appear next to lines whenever it's possible to fold or unfold the code, like this. But it is much easier to do with keyboard shortcuts, so I don't use those arrows at all, and I'm going to hide them by specifying value and error to this configuration option. The other option is called guides, indentation, and this option is responsible for showing some guides to denote indentation level. And those are these vertical lines. I'm going to hide those lines by using this configuration option, and after saving the file, all those vertical guides will disappear. Same goes with special characters that indicate white spaces. For example, if I'm going to select some part of code, sometimes spaces characters will be denoted with a dot in the middle. But due to the theme that I currently use, those special characters are almost invisible. But still, I'm going to hide them by using value and none for this option. The next option, render line highlight, is basically going to disable the highlighting of the current line, the one where cursor is currently positioned. And after saving the changes, the current line will no longer be highlighted. Another option, occurrences highlight, is responsible for highlighting similar words. So, for example, if I'm gonna put my cursor on top of the word date in here, all other similar words will also be highlighted. I prefer to disable this behavior, so I'm going to use value of for this option. After saving the changes, if I'll try again and put the cursor on the date word, all other date words will no longer be highlighted. And the next option is called selection highlight, that is similar to the previous option, with the difference that here, to highlight similar parts of code, we firstly have to select some part. So if I'm basically going to highlight word date, all other such words will also be highlighted. And this works with not only words, pretty much with all similar chunks of code that we have highlighted. And sure enough, after saving the changes, if we'll select this word once again, all other words will not be highlighted. The link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.